Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Blend Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and today we're going to be doing your general reading for the month of October. We're going to find out what's going on. We'll get some advice from the Oracle cards. And at the end, we'll get a yes or no question. So if you have one of those, send the question my way, and we'll get the answer at the end for you, Gemini. I also want to say this is a general reading. So not all of it will or it might may or may not resonate with you. But if you're guided here and you're watching this video, I sure hope there's a message that will benefit you along your way. And I want to say thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, supporting. I genuinely whoop, appreciate that. So Gemini, let's get into it. So we have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Sun. We have the Lovers, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Let's see what else we have here for Gemini. Got the Tower and the Six of Cups. Okay. I also want to say as well, Gemini, tarot is timeless. Although right now this is for the month of October, really this is for the month when you're guided to see this video. Whenever you see this, it's for that month. So the Seven of Swords. Two more cards for Gemini for the month of October, please. How is this month going to end? What's it looking like for them? Okay, the Two of Pentacles. And... The King of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, your overall vibe, energy, theme. Wow. Oh, and I dropped it. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like it wants to show me all three of these. All right. Uh, judgment, Two of Cups, and the Hermit. So there's a lot of change going on right now. You're really going through some transformation, making life decisions, making life-changing choices about partnerships. But ultimately, there's been a journey here, a journey of self-discovery. Let's find out what this journey is all about, Gemini, and what's going on for the month of, oh, let me get the right deck cards here, sorry about that, October. So the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Sun. So we start the month right now with sorrow and despair. What is this Five of Pentacles? What is Gemini feeling left out from? What are they thinking about? We have the Ace of Rods. So what is this Five of Pentacles, please? Four of Rods, the Empress, the King of Rods, and the Ace of Rods. Okay, so this Five of Pentacles that you're missing could just be a fire sign. There's an awful lot of rods here. <laughs> so it could be an Aries, Sag, or Leo. But there's some kind of new beginning that didn't quite turn out as abundant as you thought. So this King of Rods was in um, reverse, which would mean you thought he was something, and this person turned out to be something a little bit different. So this abundant new beginning that you're in, you're the Empress, this, uh, you thought it was a twin flame, soulmate, soul connection. We see it again here as another soul card. So there's definitely a connection with this person. Um, and there was an ending with this person. And you're missing them and you're thinking about them. But you're trying to move on here, Gemini. And you're trying to just gain enlightenment, gain your happiness and move forward. So then, then we have the lovers, the knight of pentacles and the emperor. So what is this lovers? Has this person returned? There's the King of Wands again. So this, this time it was upright. <laughs> so this person has come back, Gemini. So in the middle of October, the second week here, it looks like they're coming back and they're giving you a choice. Which, like I said, life-changing choices of partnership here. So there's definitely a choice going down in the month of October for you of love. So this King of Wands, this magnetic, this loyal, this passionate, this king... Um, this masculine energy who's in control, who's in charge, is coming back and offering you a new beginning. And they're telling you they want to work on things. They're, um, you know, they are your emperor. So in this, you're the feminine energy. They're the masculine, but take it as you want to read it. That's how I'm interpreting this. But they want to initiate things with you. And this catches you off guard. You're like shocked. You're unsure. So why do we have the tower here? What else? What do we have the tower here for Gemini? Show us, please, the tower. Uh, I saw I saw a card flip. Did I not? There it is. I did see a card flip. Okay, so the five of wands. So you're you're arguing about it. You're not sure. So what is this five? Yeah. So although you're missing this person, you are. We got one more for this tower. You're not really quite sure if you want to move forward with this person. So they're not giving me anything else. So four cups in reverse and the five of rods. So yeah, there's like major change, major upheaval. You didn't expect this person to come back and say this to you. And it's causing an argument. Um, it's causing a struggle. You're 
you're starting to see what's in front of you and you're not sure you want it. <laughs> so there they are and the cards and it could be a Sagittarius, but it, this could also represent there's two cards of initiators of go getters. So it's telling you to really figure out what it is that you want, but you fear deceit and you can't make your choice. So what is this seven of what was that? So the Knight of Swords, okay. We'll keep that in mind. It's not really oh and there, look, the two of cups is right where I cut it. So you're you're they're, they're coming fast towards you. I'll say that much to you, Gemini. What is the seven of swords? Is this strategy or deceit? What is this? Clarify this seven of swords, please. So the page of cups, the five of pentacles. Everything in reverse. So it was just an illusion. Um, you feel deceived. So this person deceived you in the past. So even though you're missing them and even though they're returning, you know, everything is in reverse here. So there's deceit. So there's a, options, but there's really, is there really an option? You definitely have some choice here. So this person's pretending to be something and you don't think that's what they are. So they're pretending to put their love out there. They're pretending to put their heart on the sleeve, but you don't trust it fully. You feel like this person is still hiding something and still deceiving you. And you're trying to make a decision as to what you want to do here, Gemini. So what is this King of Pentacles? So what is this King of Pentacles? Can you clarify the King of Pentacles, please, for Gemini? Okay, we have, there's that Five of Pentacles again and the Wheel of Fortune. So if you want to see what the cards say you're going to do, Gemini, you're not going to, you're going to choose to walk away. You're going to choose to stay single. You're going to choose to stay in the cycle that you're in and just kind of feel left out in the cold. You're going to be okay missing this person. The, that is better than the deceit. You cannot forgive them. So you're going to stay single. You're going to stay in control. You're going to stay abundant on your own. You're going to do your own thing. Maybe you have a dog or a loyal pet that you love that will be there, but you're going to focus on your money, Gemini, and you're going to focus on yourself. So although this person came back and it kind of rocked you and it threw you a little bit, you end the month the way that you began the month. So they just kind of gave you a little bit of chaos, gave you a few things, but ultimately what you realize is their deceit is too much. You don't want that in your life. You made the choice to choose yourself. And that's the life choice. That's the life choice you made. You have chosen yourself and you have chosen to transform your life the way you want it. Okay, so let's get your soul journey card. What is the soul journey? What is the lesson here for Gemini in the month of October? What is the lesson, please? What is the lesson? What do you want to say to Gemini? Show us the card. That's the card sneaking out. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Exactly. Instead of asking why this is happening, ask what you can learn from it. Okay. So, let's get your energy oracle card for the month of October, Gemini. What do they want to say? What message do they have for Gemini? Show us the card, please. What message do you have? What do you want to say? Okay, we got a couple. A lot of reverse uh, reversals here on these these sections. So we have the sun in reverse and we have the fourth chakra or angel Raphael in reverse. So Gemini, when it comes to the oracle cards, I always read them from the book. That's how I believe the message is meant to be received. So let's dig in, find out what they want to say to you. So the sun in reversed. A project might be blocked at this time or you could be feeling your own creativity being stifled in some way. These challenges could be imposed from outer sources or they could actually be coming from within. Are you standing in your own way, stopping self-expression out of fear or self-doubt? If so, it's time to let go of fear and be willing to take a risk. The sun reverse can also indicate a period of time where you find yourself living in the darkness of confusion, lacking direction, or maybe even depression. But reclaim your power and take back emotional control of your life. Stop focusing on the clouds. Like the sun, the light of your soul shines no matter what difficulty or darkness may be clouding the horizon. Your power and light are always present, able to bring healing and renewal through strong, strong, self-directed choices in any situation. So let go of the doubt and let your creativity come forward. Okay, 
So card number 38, reversed. This art, <laughs> this art card is also indicating blocks to your heart center. Perhaps it is an old sense of abandonment or grief from a broken heart that's lingering. Whatever, whether it's recent or not, this block energy stops you from caring for yourself and attracting love from others, and it can create an undercurrent of unhappiness that permeates in your life. It's time to heal the old, stuck stuff and move on. Don't bypass the pain and pretend it doesn't exist. Instead, ventilate it in your journal and release it with an intention to be clear, happy, and self-loving. Meditate on the increasing light in your heart center and call on Raphael to bring you clarity. Love yourself. And give yourself the approval that you need from others. The healing will take place and happiness will return. Inner transmute, you know, inner alchemy, right? Don't ignore the pain. Acknowledge it, but just process it and let it flow through you. But you do that. And at the end of the month, this is where you end up. So that's fantastic. So what do you have to surrender? Oh, okay. Surrender resentments. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. You might have throat chakra because I'm getting, <coughs> I'm getting choked up. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Okay. So what else, what other advice does the, or does the tarot want to say before we get your yes or no question? What do you want to say to Gemini? What do you want to say to Gemini? What other words? What do they need to hear, please? Eight of Cups. Did one flip? Nope. All right, the Eight of Cups. What else you got? I'm only taking the ones that are up. Okay. High Priestess, <clears throat> Seven of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the yeah. It's time o time to walk away from the overthinking and the overanalyzing. It's time to move forward. Stop looking back. Trust your intuition. You know they deceived you. We got the Seven of Swords here twice. You know they deceived you. You know they betrayed you. Your intuition does not lie. So it's time to stop um, the curiosity. Like, you're no longer curious. The cards are telling you, like, nip it in the butt. <laughs> this is done. You're walking away from that. You're walking away from this person because you're, you're right, Gemini. They, were, they deceived you. Your intuition does not lie. And the High Priestess is here to tell you to walk away. Stop looking back and just look forward. This person's not worth it anymore. It is time for you to get your abundance and your happiness. All right. So let's get your, actually, I'm being told to get you advice from my cards. So what does my cards want to say, Gemini, before we get your yes or no? What do you want to say to Gemini? Yeah, that's what they want to say. <laughs> go for it. Don't ever be afraid to go for it. Don't let your fear stop you. Okay. So let's get your yes or no. I really hope this resonated and this helped you along your way. Yes or no. The answer to your question, Gemini, is yes. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that helped. Until next time.